Flyers, welcome to the video. I'm C. Florida has issued a stay at home order. I can tell you I've been through a couple of hurricanes that seen state of emergencies, but I have never seen anything like this before. Paper products wiped out, cleaning products wiped out. Half the people in the store, if not more, are wearing masks. I honestly feel blessed. The company that I work for is considered an essential company, so I'm still able to continue to work. I live in the third worst county, which is considered a hot spot. Tonight we are getting answers from Orange County's top doctor. We wanted to know, with Orange County leading the way with the number of cases in Central Florida, where are the hot spots? Coronavirus. I work in the fourth worst county that is considered a hot spot. Take a look at Florida, which is in red. That means that there are a high number of illnesses in our state, which is unexpected for this time of year as coronavirus cases grow. In Hillsborough County, the map shows a 6.92% illness rate a week ago today. My job takes me probably through seven counties and I have not got the coronavirus. So I'm either doing something right or I'm lucky and I'll take either one of them. I still am able to work out even though the gym is closed. I have my own gym routine set up at home. I'll get into that a little bit later. And if you stay toward the end of the video, I will give you tips to a lot of the gyms that are offering free home workouts. So stay to the end for that one. I'm still able to continue my date night with my girl. We go out, we find some place to take, take out. We'll find a place to park, or maybe we'll go home and watch Netflix or Hulu. Now, what does all this mean? This may not be the best of time, but how are you making the best of your time? I have three steps to make you awesome. We'll get into that in here in a second. So before we start, my video may contain some offensive, vulgar, sexual, profanity content that may not be suitable for everyone but for everyone that it is suitable for let's make it happen So the three-step process. Now before I get started, as a manager, I have to hire occasionally inexperienced workers. And I need to motivate them in a way to make them be the best that they can possibly be. So I start out at least sharing a quick story about myself of not having college or any trade school experience and a walk-on for the company. And 14 years later, I'm the general manager actually running the show. So opportunities are available for those who work hard. So my question is, what are you doing today to make yourself better for tomorrow? Or who are you copying today to make yourself as good as them tomorrow? Which leads me into my three step process. First step, learn and be able to do the job. You don't have to be great, you don't have to be efficient, you just got to be able to do the job. Second step, see who does the job better, learn from them. So they may be willing to help you, you may have to watch from a distance, but see how they do it and do it just as good as they do it. Step three, do the job better than the last person. And that may require you to repeat steps two and three as needed. But if you continue this path, you will become awesome at whatever you try to do. I know for me with dating, my first approaches were really horrible. You know, they were can lines and basically from memorization. Hi, I think you're cute. What are you doing today? I am C. What is your name? Probably why I didn't have much of a success rate. But as I continued and kept working at it, um, I eventually ended up getting these canned lines into my own personal 
uh, openers. So, hi is. I happen to notice your earrings from a distance and it really, they're really cute on you. What kind of trouble are you getting yourself into today? I'm C, by the way. You know, I, one of my, here's probably a good example of one of the, uh, here's probably a real good example that I can give for you. I used to run cable wire. So the first thing that I learned how to run cable wire is you go up into the attic, you drill a hole in the stud, and you throw the wire down in the hole, and you hope it doesn't hang up on anything. And then you go down below, cut into the drywall, and then you take a little wire and you try to fish for it. And hopefully in a minute or five minutes you're able to snag the wire and then pull it out. Well, I knew there was a better mousetrap. So, long story short, ended up reading about glow rods or fish rods. They actually all connect with each other, but for my general use, um, I could actually tie each wire to that rod. And the rod had a little bit of weight, so it would go straight down. And it was easier for me to snag when I went downstairs, and I could do five wires at a time. Well, I was leaving a house one day, and an electrician was coming in. And I said, do you have any new tips do you have do you have any tricks for a new person in this trade and he said son I actually do but it's going to cost you a thousand dollars in my mind I told him to go fuck himself but out of my mouth I said sorry I don't have that kind of cash for that lesson um, I appreciate your time you have a good day and he said no wait 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 I'm just kidding. He says, I use chains and magnets. Um, it seems to be the easiest way to do it. And I said, get the fuck out of here. Because I already had a concept of how it probably worked as soon as he said it. And he was like, I can show you how it works. And I said, no, 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 I'm good. I, I understand the process. The chain has weights. And the magnet will be able to catch the chain. And then you'll be able to pull it right out. He said, absolutely. I said, you know what? That is worth a thousand dollars. But again, I don't have a thousand dollars to give you. But I said, I will buy you lunch. Here's the twenty dollars. He said, keep your money. He said, I'm paying it forward. I did the same thing to you four years ago. I asked somebody if they had any tricks to the trade. And they were nice enough to explain that concept and actually show me. So being that you asked the question, I'm just paying it forward. My only thing that I ask of you, that if somebody asks you for any tricks of the trade, you then pass it forward. I said, absolutely. So two jobs later, I actually had six wires to run inside a home and one wire to run outside of the home. So I ran by Home Depot and I've got 10 chains that were 12 inches long. And of course, when I got to the house, I cut out six wires and as I'm going into the attic I have a bundle of six wires over my shoulder I have a pocket full of chains and I have my drill on my uh, belt clip so drill the hole tie the chain to the wire drop the chain and the wire in the wall hit all six of them up in the attic at one time go downstairs drill stick the little flex magnet that I got at the auto parts store hear it click pull the wire, pull the chain, then the wire out, did all six of them. Long story short, the job took me 50 minutes. And at $25 a wire, six wires on the inside, one wire going to the outside, that was $175 that I got to bill for for 50 minutes. So that's how we improve every single day. Don't stop asking the question on you know, tricks of the trade, whether it's in dating, whether it's personal hobbies, whether it's at your job. That's how it's benefited me. All right, it's time to work out. Now, I will say this. I enjoy a gym workout a lot better than I do a home workout because my garage is hot as fuck. Um, but all the gyms are closed. So I have no choice to continue my workout at home, and I will share that workout with you. Just so you know, I'm not a fitness expert. 
Um, I do a simple workout, both lower body and upper body, and I do that four times a week. So let's go work out. So let's pump you up. Good evening and welcome to Pumping Up with Hans and Franz, the informative training program for the serious weightlifter. Hello, let us begin by introducing ourselves. I am Hans. I'm Dan Franz. And, and we, we want, want to pump you up. <laughs> okay, let's get started. First of all, before you pump, you must warm up, else you might hurt the muscle. Now listen here, we can't make you warm up, it's entirely up to you. Yeah, that's right, you know, believe me now, it's not our job to check up on you either. So, you know, if you're not gonna do it, don't be jerking us around, you know, we don't have the time. All, All we want to do is pump, pump up. up. Like a stinking ass. That's right, you just get out of our face and have another bowl yeah, of you hog and dust. If you don't work out, somebody should grab you by the jockstrap and give you the wedgie of your life. Yeah, you fat <laughs>
that was exhausting my friends so i hope you enjoyed the video hit subscribe give me a thumbs up click notifications and if you want to help support this channel click the amazon link below it'll cost you no extra for whatever you're buying and it'll help support this channel thanks for, so much for watching see you next time Thank you.